Hey, and welcome back everyone to more of my Let's Play of Siphon Filter. And now we're finally headed to Kazakhstan in Romer's base. And just like the exhibit in the first level, um, it's gotta be heavily stealth. I've discovered why every mission in this investigation has been compromised. The agency had a leak at the top. Benton, of course. You knew? You were valuable to me, Logan, but you are not briefed on all of the agency's activities. I've known for some time that Benton was playing both sides. How many missions did you send us on knowing that Benton could have gotten us killed? We do what it takes, Logan. All of us. Get her off the floor. What else did you find out? We downloaded several data files from Fagan's computers. It'll take a while before intelligence can crack Farcom's encryption codes, but Fagan must have a lab somewhere that's manufacturing this virus. Fagan has disappeared. Interpol hasn't been able to turn up a trace of him yet, and there's still no sign of Romer. Romer is operating out of an old Soviet base in northern Kazakhstan. Our spy satellites have pinpointed the exact location of his compound. The State Department must be able to tell the Kazakhstan government that the United States had nothing to do with the operation. Your chopper will put you down one mile outside the base, just beyond the range of their long-range radar. Hopefully the blizzard will mask your approach. You will have to infiltrate on foot and disable their short-range anti-aircraft guidance radar before evac. Those look like long-range SS-23s. Yes, they're the reason I'm sending you. Before you set the timer, you need to find their missile stockpiles and retrieve the launch codes. We want to find out where he is getting them. You will be carrying several C4 charges, which you will plant on these fuel tanks. That should be enough explosive to take out whatever arms he is stockpiling. This is Vladislav Gabrek, Romer's base commander. He is personally in charge of security. Contingency plan? If you fail, we'll have another chopper standing by to click south. If I find Romer... Eliminate him. I'm on my way in. Radio traffic shows a yellow alert status. Be careful to avoid their patrols. If the base goes on alert, you won't have much time to complete your objectives. Check. Okay. So. Uh oh. I think I. Yeah, fuck. Okay, I should have never done that. I just saw I saw him running so fast I hear the snow footstep much quicker. So okay, so we're in the Romanov space and this is of course on our level with that stuff heavily stealth. Now unlike the uh the one in the exhibit where if you uh get caught um the mission failed in this case, you don't fail at all. All it does, you basically put the base on high alert and the enemies will keep coming at you. So you literally have no time to breathe to do your objective. <coughs> and of course, that I throw there was a gas grenade. Very handy to deal with multiple enemies at once. Just don't get caught in the gas because you will die instantly. I had to wait for him to... I don't trust myself trying to do a headshot when he's on the move. Just when he's still still. And of course, take out those uh, searchlights. Because even if there's nobody around and you step in the light, um, you still get um, spotted. And of course, set the uh, alarm. And of course, you don't even have to shoot at directly at the light to disable it. You can actually shoot the back of the hitbox. I also dig. I am really digging these music in this game. I found a fuel tank. God, that was loud enough. What if someone actually hears that, Logan? I've planted the first explosive. Now, of course, uh, once you play as explosive, you get a checkpoint. So it's really nice. Okay, that was like a little bit of a delay. 
Gabe, intelligence briefings show the bunkers are guarded by motion sensors. You have to cut their power to get in. Where's the substation? A half click southeast from your present position. Check your sat map. Okay, oh. Gotta be careful here. Yeah, as long as you still remain crouched, they shouldn't really see you. Alright, you got the PK-102. And this weapon... It... Essentially is an AK. But the picture looks a little different. God damn it. I am still not used to it. Old habit still. Alright, let's see. A popular philosophical system. Most widely used. I'm pretty sure that's talking about the AK. But that's not even look like an AK at all. And they didn't even get like a full like model of a classic AK until the third game. Alright, just be careful around here. Okay, you know what? I gotta try this. Uh, he should be dead, right? Okay, if I think I kind of overkilled it, but... Okay, I can see why a lot of people like this gadget. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, gotta be careful here. Yeah, I'm surprised his buddy over there didn't really hear him screaming and being light on fire. And that should be... Uh... Finally, the station to turn off those so uh, motion sensors. I found the power to the motion sensors. I'm heading over to the bunkers now. I'm not sure why, but I'm getting more a bit of a Metal Gear Solid vibe from this than uh, 007. Probably mainly because in PS1, Metal Gear Solid would also take place in snow. Well, actually in Alaska, while well, this is in Kazakhstan. But it actually feels very nice. Now, I, there's no trophy for uh, complete the whole level in stealth. But there is a trophy uh, later on where you had to escape the base without killing anyone. I'll definitely... Tr Definitely do that again during the, the Let's Play. Just, uh... Alright, let's see what we got here. Ah, yes, the uh, Night Vision, Dragonoff, and more gas. Now, there might be... This... Okay, this could be uh, quite sketchy here, so I'm just gonna...
And you shouldn't really worry about the lights shining on the corpse. Because they don't give a damn. Oh. Where her... Damn it! Ah. Oh, really? Okay, I heard a footstep, but... Uh... Okay, you know what? I have to restart where I kill them. Okay, apparently, uh, somehow that guard must have spot the two of them at the ground floor. So I'm going to have to take out, yeah, this one right there. Is this... Okay, let me try this again. Let me just, uh... There. Ah, you can even see his, uh, body clipping through. Alright, let me just, uh... Throw this. Uh... And let me deal with this stupid light. Now, before you shoot that guy in the window there, uh, there'll be one right here, so let's just uh, make sure you take him out because he will spot you if you try to proceed further. And also here, just... All right, let's just be careful because... Uh, okay, thank God, because I heard the music kind of picked up, but glad nothing uh, happened because there's no one else around, so set myself a bullet there. Oh, combat shotgun. All right, two more enemies. Let's get our gas grenade. Uh, no target, but what do you mean no target? Okay, this should be good. Sorry, if you try going there, you're probably dead. Let me show you. Oh no. I guess I must have gone. Yeah, this. Yeah, if you didn't kill that guard right there, you probably would have been alerted. So, no, I know there's someone around these corners, so. Be very careful. Okay, I thought there would be someone around, but...
I'll try to gas all of them at once. I never really did it before, but... And of course, there's no way for you to be able to hug the wall. Oh, shit. Ugh. I just gassed myself. <laughs> okay. Didn't mean to do that, but... Oh, God, no, no, no. Damn it! Okay. Oh, I fainted too late. Okay, I had to do... Okay, this is really tough. I had to mo I had to gas the moment I see the first guy. <coughs> and that worked. Holy shit. Well, there we go. God, if, if this was like back, like playing this on a PS1, the actual PS1 game on the console, I mean, you would probably have to do an annoying checkpoint to go through. But once I clear that, now I can head to the, uh, you know, to take it behind to these barrels and just uh, plant the explosive. Okay, we got one more to do, which it should be later on. I hope I didn't miss any. Okay, Oh yeah, that's for the beginning area, but I gotta make sure I don't forget the missed one. There could be... Uh, I'm just checking back because I know I missed one tank because that would have been the last one. Ah, this is probably the one I miss. It was. That's the last explosive. I'll trigger the timer once I'm on the roof and have disabled their radar. Copy. Oh, I love the uh, nice triangle snowflakes. Like, really, don't they look like like triangular shaped snowflakes? Okay, this is gonna be a little bit annoying to sneak through. I don't think there's anyone on the, amongst these walls. inside the bunker yeah they would have the motion sensors right there so you would have had to back try to disable it during the uh, a station okay uh, I could either gas them or okay I'll show you what the other sniper looks like 
It's just a cleaner version of it. Okay, not a double headshot. Shit. Okay, uh... I thought I would line up a collateral, but I guess not. So I guess I have to just gas them. And uh, that should be the end of the level. Uh, thank God. Oh, that was a very fun level. I mean, despite some of the slip-ups, uh, at least uh, I made it through. <laughs> but yeah, it's one of my favorite levels, actually, because of how I love the music, I love the stealth, and I love the snow. But yeah, thank you for watching, everyone. Until next time, uh, when we're gonna find more of those uh, nuclear missiles deep inside the bunker. Until then, farewell, and have a wonderful day, everyone.